Jim Cunningham here with Stephen Huff for the Mendelssohn Piano Concerto Number no. 1, the Pittsburgh Symphony at Heinz Hall. We're delighted to have you back. Thank you, Jim. It's great to be here again. The Mendelssohn first I love. This is a great piece. Mm -hmm. Great fun. Yeah, it's, it's a brilliant, in every sense of the word, 20 minutes. Um, it's almost like a one-movement form in a way because you get this kind of lead passage in the first movement that becomes the lead passage in, after the second movement. Um, but it's just, it's full of um, fire. I think this is the thing that impressed me the most when I, I, I recorded them all and um, I kept seeing Con Fuoco in the score with fire. And I, I think I counted... 15 confuocos in all of the orchestra and piano music of uh, piano and orchestra music of Mendelssohn and that seems to me a key to the piece um, not so much the leggero or the, the the sort of feeling of elegance which is certainly there but this fire this internal fire that you get in in all of Mendelssohn's music that's underneath and um, you know it gives it that tremendous spirit so I'm looking forward. I always enjoy playing this piece. And you made a terrific CD of it with the second concerto and some other pieces that we don't get quite as often by Mendelssohn. Yeah, it's all of the music for solo, piano, and full orchestra, I think, because there is a piece for string orchestra with piano and, of course, with the two piano concerto. But, uh, yeah, it's um, great stuff. There's, there was a very rich period for... For piano music, that sort of late classical, early romantic period, you think of composers such as Hummel and Moscheles and, and, and then later people like Henry Hertz and, and so on. And it was a, a Weber, of course, is another composer of that time. This kind of period when uh, you can still sense the keyboard is the older style of piano. It has that light kind of brilliance, but it's moving uh, in form and in harmony and, and in, in spirit into the, the more of the 19th century romantic flavor. Your take on Felix Mendelssohn, we lost him much too soon, but such an amazing man, composer yeah. and musician, the all-rounder. He, he really had it all, yeah. conductor. Wouldn't it be nice to have heard his improvising, because apparently he was able to improvise amazing fugues and just do such, such extraordinary things. Yeah, um, but we, he left us slots, so at least that's a good thing. Well, uh, you must feel at home at Heinz Hall now. We're fortunate and privileged to have had you on a number of occasions in the fa past few seasons. It's great to be here again. Yeah, I think this is the, the third time in six years, so... Uh, it's wonderful. And this is the first time, I suppose, it's been more standard repertoire. Although this piece was played enormously in the 19th century. It was one of the most played piano concertos. And I suppose it's not played so much anymore. Um, it's considered, in a way, a sort of student piece. A lot of um, people play it who are younger because uh, it doesn't have any big stretches. And it, you know, if you have fast fingers, it's, it, it works quite well. But it's a piece that absolutely belongs, I think, in concert programs. The biggest technical challenge for the pianist? Everything is a technical challenge. Of course. You know. Um, it isn't... Well, what's interesting about this piece, it, it isn't one of the most difficult if, if you actually put note by note by note. Um, a lot of the patterns lie very well under the hand because Mendelssohn was obviously a great pianist. Um, but actually, any, to get anything in a hall of this size with the orchestra with a certain kind of lightness and, and also the fire we were talking about before, um, I, I never take anything for granted. Nothing's easy, really, when you get out there in front of 2,000 people.